Hi, this is 16, and uh, this is my part uh, 12 of my data campaign. And um, I conquered uh, the Ojo, and um, now I'm at war with pretty much everybody. So let's see. Here there's a Tokugawa army. And these guys are a bit uh, of a danger for my uh, troops here. But um, what I'll do is I'll produce some troops here. And uh, with these uh, I'll try to push into uh, Tokugawa territory while their main army is busy right here. Okay, so let's do it. What about this? Okay, now I have a big army which is facing another Tokyo army here. Now I'm grouping troops and I don't think I have much else to do for that turn. So I will end it here. Here we go. Now there's the island of Sado. But usually I just ignore it. But if you're really motivated, you can send an army there. But the main issue with that is that um, if you do so, your army is not on the continent. So you cannot advance on the continent. Okay. Well, more people to care on me. That doesn't matter. I'm doing fine. All the other clan are joining. And now what I'll try to do is uh, actually attack this fort just like with the uh, three units. My castle has been sabotaged here. And uh, yeah, I'll push into Takigawa territory. I'll capture this town. Lord Shi. Okay. I'll fix the town. Port in so I can produce troops there. Or at least keep order. Now if you do the battle manually, I will remind you that uh, the castle will n won't be damaged, so that will allow you to advance faster. <laughs> but at this point I don't really care. Now let's see if I have more information about that. A lot of bowmen, a lot of Yari Samurai. So I think what I'll do is um, I'll recruit some cavalry while I'm there. Some uh, samurai, no, oh, maybe not. A ninja. And uh, on the first turn, uh, yeah, but you can do. I don't know if it's a bug of or it's a, it's intended. But you can actually uh, enter special units into your nearest town that produces it. Fight of uh, special units. Lots of a Mitsuki there. It's not really important. Oh, I see battle, but uh, I just have uh, traders, so there's no point fighting that. It's multi, mo mostly for uh, scouting purpose. The same as these one. Get more enemy kind. Okay, now with just three troops, uh, I'm able to capture that now. I'll continue pushing into the enemy territory because 
with these three units because his main army is right here. And uh, it's better to capture territory if, uh, even if uh, you lose some. Now I'll keep pushing in then. There's too small army there. Uh, let's see. Well, I need to fa face them, I guess. Once again, it's not worth it to do it. The thing is that when you have the realm divide, you really need to push uh, fast and capture as much territory as you can before uh, all the other clan react to you. Oh good, it's okay. And uh, yeah, you really need to make sure that. Uh, you capture as much territory this way you will be able to hold against uh, large enemy forces uh, let's scout uh, where my army are Okay. Well, now I can see their entire army. That's a lot of bowmen. Alright. I'll attack this army to get rid of it. And um, I don't really have to phase it. Because uh, it doesn't have a general and uh, it's far behind enemy lines. So. It's easy to get rid of. Now my general is uh, pretty much, yeah, he's the highest rank. So what I'll do is uh, I'll boost. Uh, no, I'll do that. This, this. Oops. Hit the button again. Okay. I'll put that, this way it will be fear. And uh, I'll increase my uh, unit uh, honor. Now let's advance. Okay, let's see the order into my province. Doesn't seem too good. I'll exempt tax here. I need to exempt tax here as well. Now let's see if I have order here. Nope. It's important to check if you can uh, uh, exempt from tax or not. It's like here, there's no chance of rebellion there. Here, neither. Here, yeah, there's a chance. No chance. No chance. The thing is that exempting from tax will give you four happiness. So that means uh, if you have over four in happiness, you can uh, tax people there. No, there's a ninja which is sabotaging my stuff there. Need to get rid of that. But I think for the moment I'm done with my turn, so I'll turn. As you can see, I just conquered four province of the Tokugawa in a very short time. And this shall continue 
The next turn I hope. I'll do that siege. Just save. So that's a uh, rebel army. I shouldn't have that much problem with uh, just my garrison because it's a small rebellion. But uh, I do it personally because uh, uh, in auto battle I probably will lose that. It's not really that uh, it will be hard, but uh, yeah, I need to do it. And once that rebellion will be crushed, my uh, my, pro uh, my province will be secure, I guess. And this is uh, a pretty good castle, actually. So I should really not have uh, much trouble repelling the enemy attack. And essentially, all I have. Uh, as an army is the garrison, so I don't even have uh, troops other than these. But that should, should be uh, sufficient. Okay, where are my bowmen? There they are. Okay, they there. Now I need to check the composition of the enemy army. Okay, the enemy general is on that side. And Yari Ashigeru, Boy Ashigeru. There's a lot of Yari Ashigeru. That should not be a problem. There's even some deers. But uh, I don't think these are much of a, tr much of a threat. I'll try to prioritize uh, shooting on the enemy bowmen because uh, yeah, yeah, she got it, no big deal, but uh, bowmen, big deal. Because uh, an arrow, no matter who shoot it, is as effective uh, if it hits. The main problem is that uh, these uh, brush here are really in a kind of blind spot. So it's a bit of an issue. Okay, I think I'll switch my bowmans on the other side. This will... Uh, force them to get closer and hopefully in a better spot and uh, while my bowmen will be on that side they will uh, likely uh, kill many enemy Ashigaru and I'll send uh, one unit of Ashigaru as well to face my enemy and my Ashigaru I'll deploy them right here which will uh, plug the enemy and I'll deploy them in the spear wall formation so this way uh, the enemy Ashigaru will be blocked and uh, yeah, So my bowmen will be able to kill many of them. My wall formation was not perfectly formed, so that can be an issue, I guess, but uh, they seem to be able to uh, reform it. And the enemy are panicking. So I guess I can probably bring another unit of Ashigaru. Make sure that if they panic, I can kill them and they won't come back. Just keeping my kit in as well as a kind of reserve. Now I'll move my bowmen that side and they will uh, hopefully kill the enemy bowmen. Okay, 
second wall formation. Spear wall formation, that is. Okay, apparently they're losing that pet to escape. Samurai container. Now with the samurai retainers, uh, I don't know what to do that there. you wonder uh, I did manage to just drag my units like that. It's the button right here. The shortcut will be indicated the there. There's more enemies that are fleeing than what my troops can kill. Okay, good. Now the enemy Roman have been killed. But now there's these guys that sneak in my back. I need to bring back my, uh, my retainers. I will lose a whole lot of Bowmen, but uh, since these are garrison, next turn the unit will be an uh, asshole. So there's no worry there. I can expect the enemy general to come soon. Let's, let's uh, enjoy the fight here. As you can see, I did lose uh, many bowmen, but uh, it's okay. They won't panic on that level of the castle, so it's not a big deal. Now let's shoot, shoot the enemy general from afar. Shooting a bunch of balloon. I probably could go out and uh, finish off the remaining army, but uh, I'm sure that uh, would be wise. But why not? I said that was wise. It was a victory, and uh, I guess now the rebels will be dead. I won't hear from them again, I hope. So I guess I'll cut the video here, and uh, I hope the next part will be much more intense.